welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Um, I thought that I would hop on the Thrifty Thursday bandwagon. Um, I do pretty regularly visit the local thrift stores and I love to yard sale. Um, I love to find unique goodies and stuff. So I would like to share my haul from this week. And this is from a couple different th local thrift stores here near me and um, a couple little yard sale finds. So I'm gonna start with these two items here. So this is a deck of cards or two decks of cards. And I didn't even open it up when I got it. I was just like, oh, this is pretty. I'm gonna get this. I like these. Well, <laughs> when I opened it up, it is not what it says it is on the front. But that's okay because they are absolutely adorable. So just got this deck with the little bird and the green trim. And then we've got the deck with the little, little chickadee and the brown trim. So that was super cute and comes in a really, really pretty box too. So, and then I also found this and this is a cute little folio um, for a bridge game. And I don't know how old this is, but the cards and everything look pretty old, but we've got a little pad here for keeping score for bridge and then a couple decks of cards in here and they are both the same. They're all just these cute little lambs. So just regular deck of playing cards and there's two of them. Um, I will probably use the cards and the um, score pad, but I'm not so sure what I'll do with this, if anything. We'll see. Um, and then today I picked up a vintage sewing pattern and these are like 50 cents at my local thrift store and they have a ton of them. Um, the pattern envelope itself is pretty tattered and worn, but the instructions inside are still in really, really good shape. And then we've got the patterned pieces as well. And there's lots of fun things that you can do with this. Um, you can do a lot of layering with these and everything. So we've got that. And then I got a bunch of cards. I love going through the stationery section. We got some cute little Christmas cards and these are very vintagey looking cards. Cute little bunny. The boy praying. Little girl decorating her tree with the little wild animals. And a little boy with his puppy dog carrying a Christmas tree. And then I found a ton of these and I'm not gonna go through all of them, but these are all just the same front and back and blank inside. So you could use the paper as like, like you would with scrapbooking paper and make journaling cards and stuff out of them or keep them as blank cards. But there were so many beautiful patterns. Maybe I will just go through them all here real quick. And I tried to grab one of each Obviously, some of them don't look like they belong in the group, but love the paisley print. So pretty. Love this one, too. This one was the only one of this one that they had. And that one, too. This looks like mermaid scales. So that was that. And then I've also picked up a couple rolls of ribbon at a yard sale. Um, and these are pretty hefty rolls of ribbon. Um, there's a lot left on here and they're just fabric ribbon. So we got this really pretty kind of um, rusty red with little itty bitty white polka dots. And then this pretty little vintage blue with flowers on it. We got some wooden rubber stamps. So we got this one, the group of trees. I picked up this one 
to put away with my uh, Christmas decorating stuff because I would really like to do some Christmas journals this year. So it's just like little, um, oh, where am I going? Little uh, holly berries. Little kitty cat silhouette. And this cute like little mason jar with the herbs coming out of it in a little bow. I really like that one. Very pretty, very, uh, very rustic cottage core kind of kind of print there I did get some paper as well oh I didn't share all my ribbon hold on I got a bunch more ribbon and this is in here so, um, that's all of them we got all these too so we got this one this one's kind of Christmassy with the snowflakes and the geese and it looks like this one has like a little wreath around its neck and there's quite a bit of that just some fabric ribbon there and I got this uh, lace and I don't really know what this looks like pulled out. I just got masking tape around it. Let's see if we can get this off here. There we go. So yeah, so it's just some floral lace, very kind of pale yellow color, really pretty. Another Christmassy one with the ivy and the gold kind of on this peachy background. Another Christmassy one. Um, it looks like kind of poinsettia flowers, but it's in this pearly white and cream and gold color. And this is a much stiffer um, fabric trim. We got some little crochet lace here. Uh, this is definitely poinsettias. This fabric ribbon here, it's quite a bit there too. This one, this is a thin, narrower fabric ribbon. It's nice brown with the pretty floral print on it. And then I found this really nice uh, dark paisley colored one. I really, really like that. And then paper, I got a nice big stack of paper. So this came in a package and I didn't know what really was, cause all I could see was this and this and this. So I didn't really know what was inside. So it was kind of a gamble, but it was worth it. This is um, kind of a little transparent and it is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful paper, lots of this transparent color, this pretty blues and greens. Uh, this is a opaque pink, a few different pinks. We got some yellows. This one's really pretty and this one's kind of textured too. It's transparent, it almost looks like, I don't know if you can really see it, it almost looks like a dandelions when they've gone to seed, when you blow them away and make a wish. And everything is in the way because this table's too small. Love this green. I love this really pretty green. Yellow, pale pink, white, blue, another yellow. Only got a partial piece, but that's okay. This one is so pretty. Love that. Got a little paper craft paper collection here. And these, I'm not sure if I'll keep this one or not. I will probably pass this along to somebody else because it's not really my, my style, but that was in there. These are really pretty. I actually used a piece of this in my most recent journal. Let me put another one. More transparent. And then this one is, I don't know if you can tell on camera or not, but it is a very pretty, like shimmery gold paper with this fun, squiggly orange on it. And fabric. I got some fabric. I got this 
beautiful piece of fabric. So this is a 36 by 23 piece of fabric. And it's obviously not gonna fit all on camera, but you get the idea. So this is gonna make a couple really gorgeous book covers for sure. And then I got a bag full of scraps and there's a ton of really fun pieces in here. So we've got some more kind of child friendly pieces. This was in there, absolutely gorgeous. Some more vintage prints, some more modern. Love the yellow. Had some strips of this cut out. Love this. This is so pretty. There's quite a few pieces of this. And a lot of these are already cut out into like little rectangles and squares. Really pretty floral. There's a few pieces of that. It's like somebody was cutting them out for quilting or something. More of the pretty butterfly and the hummingbird there. Yeah, you can see it better. The print is so pretty. Purple, little applique, the snowman, little piece of star, some nice corduroy, more florals, lots of florals. And a lot of these are perfect size to cover small junk journals. Um, some of them are a little bit smaller, so you could just make small embellishments, little clusters, uh, little ruffles on the sides of the pages. Love this, this is super pretty. Love the colors on that. Make pockets, all sorts. This is a really good sized chunk there. Many, many, many different ways that you can use all these fabric scraps. Oh, this one is amazing too. Look at that. So pretty. So, so pretty. So many possibilities. All right. And then this was a fun find. So this is a We Are Memory Keepers uh, envelope punch board. So you just have to have a square piece of paper and you just follow the instructions here and you can make an envelope almost out of any size. The only problem with it though, is that this score line is only like eight-ish or so inches long, but they give you instructions on how to make an envelope with paper up to 29.2. So I don't know if this comes with like an extension board or how else you would line this up, but uh, it makes really good small envelopes. And I actually made a bunch of them the other day. Comes with this for scoring. And it just tucks in the back there. Nice punch on there. Um, so the reverse punch is just a little round corner punch so that you can round off like the tip of your fold over part of your envelope. And last but not least, books. So this was a yard sale find and the reason I got this book is because I love this cover. I just love the cover. Um, it's an old Reader's Digest condensed books book. Um, spine not in the greatest condition as you can see it's kind of cracking and stuff so i would probably remove this and put on a new spine but i would leave this and i would probably throw on some gold corners as well or bronzed corners and then i would probably keep the inside uh end papers and this one as well with the x libris on it if i can save it so i'd have to peel it off right here but I love the color. Love, love, love it. It's almost like a marigold yellow. Super pretty. So that is my plan for that, is to gut it and use this for a journal. 
This one I found at a thrift store, and this is a New Testament Greek for beginner for beginners beginners. <laughs> so this is a Greek lesson book. So I thought that this would be fun just because it has foreign language text in it. And it's so pretty. So I picked that up. And we'll see. I might just keep it and learn some Greek myself. Who knows? And then we also got this one. I was so excited about this one. I don't know why I was so excited, but I absolutely love this because I love butterflies and moths. And the pictures in this are so pretty. Love these little field guides. And honestly, they're not super easy to find in thrift stores and stuff around here. This was the first time I've found one like this here. And now I'm gonna be looking for them everywhere because I want more. Um, don't think I will have the heart to, oh, the Monarch, my favorite. Don't think I will have the heart to tear this book apart. Um, we'll see. I don't think I could. Swallowtail, beautiful. It's not really, I mean, it's, it's just barely starting to fall apart on its own. So we're gonna keep it alive for a little longer. I'll probably read it, use it for reference, and maybe start pulling stuff out for my own personal journals. But that was a super fun, exciting find for me. Um, and then today I found this one so this is a and that is not what i paid for it that is an old sticker but anyways uh a pet birds book and this is from this is from the late 80s i want to say oh, 84 so early 80s early mid 80s um but again love the pictures super fun for journals and they're a really good size to make journaling cards out of for journals. When and if I decide that I want to tear it apart, we will see. Bird anatomy. And this one is adorable. I found this cute little vintage children's book. Uh, and this is, I don't even know what the year is because I don't do 193 L. I know that's seven. I'm not sure. But look at these adorable images. And the colors so pretty. Absolutely love it. Super happy that I found this one. So cute. Little baby mice. Oh, little hedgehog. Yeah, the illustrations in this just absolutely amazing. So that was a good find. Even a little scroll on the cover. Love it. So that was it. That was my thrift haul for this week. I've got all kinds of exciting new items to play with, new textiles, new papers, new ribbons and stamps to test out. So these will be making their way into being stored into my stash and moving on through the uh, junk journal making process. So anyways, yeah, thanks for sticking around and listening to me ramble and checking out all my cool new goodies. Uh, give me a like, a subscribe, and leave a comment if you'd like, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.